South Plains as a new threat emerges, Alley Vipers. Cobra's elite urban warfare specialists have descended upon Metropolis, turning its bustling streets into a battleground. Armed with an advanced weaponry and an unwavering loyalty to Cobra, they set their sights on a sinister objective. Cobra forces, deploy immediately! Alibi on the left! G.I. Joe must mobilize quickly to defend the city and uncover the true purpose behind this calculated assault. It's a high-stakes showdown in the concrete jungle, where only the strongest will survive. You can't keep me out, G.I. Joe! Sporting a striking combination of orange and blue hues, the Alley Viper undeniably made a bold and intimidating visual statement. Why this specific color scheme? Delving into the vintage foul card lore, it's evident that Alley Vipers were designed to be Cobra's answer to elite units like SWAT or SAS. This choice of color seems to be a deliberate tactic, a means to ensure that these operatives were conspicuous on the battlefield. Their mission? To strike swiftly and forcefully, diverting the attention of defending forces while other, more covert Cobra units executed their operations with subtlety and precision. <laughs> this guy's loaded with gear. Two rifles, two magazines, a pistol, two knives, a grapnel gun, grappling hook, backpack, shield, and visor. Ellie Viper's backpack hits on that nostalgia. The vintage figure had a backpack very similar in a solid molded design. There's a mine, frag grenades, and some magazines on the side. Alley Vipers wear distinctive urban combat suits that include a helmet with a face shield, body armor, and tactical gear. The most distinctive feature, without a doubt, is that helmet. It leaves only the Alley Viper's eyes visible, shrouding the rest of his face beneath a snug fitting blue balaclava, coupled with a sleek orange helmet that remarkably resembles a serpent head. Notice the small fangs adorning his chin? Additionally, a meticulously sculpted cobra emblem adorns the forehead of this striking headgear. Adorned with an abundance of tactical gear and lightweight body armor, not to mention a remarkable orange and blue camouflage pattern, this figure boasts an impressive level of detail in his equipment. Numerous pouches, carabiners, and armor plating adorn his attire. It's worth noting that the vest, a distinctive piece of gear, is not designed to be detached. It seamlessly integrates with the overall design. Roll and Specialization Alley Vipers are elite Cobra operatives trained for urban combat and close quarter engagements. They excel in unconventional warfare, such as navigating through alleys, buildings, and other urban terrain. Their equipment typically includes zip lines, repelling gear, and specialized weapons for urban warfare. Railroad tracks that lead from nowhere right up into a dead volcano. Yeah, and an elevator half the size of Dallas inside the crater. And don't forget the anti-aircraft batteries all around the outside. They are urban warfare experts. Eye Vipers are skilled at ambushing enemy forces, navigating complex urban landscapes, and creating fortified positions. They are known for their abilities in urban environments, making them formidable opponents in city settings. Strengths, expertise in urban warfare. These Alley Vipers are highly trained and skilled in urban combat tactics, making them exceptionally effective in city environments, where traditional military units may struggle. Adaptability, they can quickly adapt to the challenges of urban terrain, utilizing their specialized equipment and training to navigate through tight spaces, rooftops, and alleys. Ambush tactics. They're experts at setting up ambushes and creating fortified positions, making it difficult for their enemies to advance without encountering resistance. Stop the intruder! Close quarters combat. Alley Vipers are well versed in close quarters combat techniques, making them skilled in hand to hand combat and melee weapons. Intimidation factor. Their distinctive appearance and reputation as urban warfare specialists can be intimidating for both civilians and adversaries, potentially causing psychological effects on the battlefield. Uh, about 
about time you showed up. We gotta get out. Specialized equipment. Alley Vipers often come equipped with gear such as zip lines, repelling equipment, and explosive charges, giving them the advantage in urban scenarios. Teamwork. Alley Vipers often operate in squads or teams, allowing them to coordinate their efforts effectively and support each other in combat. Commander wants to switch the frequency of the Dragonfire to ultimate attack mode. That's what I need. Sorry, change in plans. Cobra won't be attacking anymore. Ugh. <gasps> Weaknesses. While Alley Vipers are elite urban combat specialists within the Cobra organization, like any fictional characters, they have their limitations and potential flaws. Limited versatility. Alley Vipers' specialized equipment and training may not make them as versatile or adaptable as other Cobra operatives in different combat scenarios. Dependence on urban infrastructure. Alley Vipers' tactics and equipment often depend on urban infrastructure like buildings, alleys, and rooftops. These elements are not available, their combat capabilities may be limited. Training and recruitment costs. Specialized training and equipment required to create Alley Vipers can be costly and time consuming for Cobra, potentially diverting resources from other endeavors. Dependence on numbers. To achieve their goals, Alley Vipers offer operating in groups or squads. They may be less effective individually, relying on the strength of their numbers for success. Myths. Alley Vipers are always silent. While they are often depicted as stealthy operatives, there's no official lore stating that Alley Vipers must always operate in complete silence. They do prioritize stealth, but they can communicate as needed. All Alley Vipers look the same. While they wear similar uniforms and helmets, individual Alley Vipers can have variations in appearance, and some adaptations have portrayed them with distinct features. First appearance. The Alley Vipers made their debut in 1989, G.I. Joe toy line, and were introduced in the animated series and comic books soon after. Alley Vipers first appeared and spoke in Operation Dragonfire Part 2. They also spoke in Parts 3, 4, and 5. Specialized Training. Alley Vipers undergo rigorous and specialized training, which includes instruction in stealth, close quarters combat, and urban survival tactics. Alley Vipers Immortality. In the IDW G.I. Joe comic series, there's a tongue-in-cheek joke that suggests Alley Vipers are immortal because they appear in so many battles and are always seen to return. Hmm. While Alley Vipers may not have as many spotlight moments as some of the more prominent G.I. Joe or Cobra characters, their specialized role in urban warfare and their presence in various confrontations make them significant within the G.I. Joe franchise. As the battle rages on, the Alley Vipers' relentless assault continues to captivate our attention. Just as their vibrant orange and blue presence commands the battlefield, in the world of G.I. Joe, they stand as a symbol of fierce determination, striking hard and fast while the rest of Cobra forces operate in the shadows. As we bid farewell to this episode, remember that sometimes, even in the most striking appearances, the true power lies in subtleties of strategy and the bravery of those who stand and defend against the storm. Stay vigilant, for the battle between G.I. Joe and Cobra endures, and new challenges await on the horizon. You won't get away from me, you G.I. Jokes! This is Ambush. G.I. Joe will be right back. Where every mission is a puzzle, and chaos is his greatest weapon. Firefly, on the next episode.